Hello and welcome to the Luxury Hybrid channel. Today is going to be my very first DIY to show you how you can organize your makeup and display it as a work of art. I really hope that you enjoy it. This is my very first DIY and I hope to continue to do more. I'll be talking through this tutorial to show you step by step how I completed this masterpiece. Well, I think it's a masterpiece. So stay tuned and I'll show you all the materials that you'll need to start off with. You'll want to lay some vinyl down on the floor so you don't make a mess of your floor or carpet and maybe move some of your pets out of the way. First off, you'll need a picture frame. This is an average 8x11 that I picked up from TJ Maxx and it was only $9.99. You can choose whatever size you want, but this is the size I chose. I then went to Michael's and picked up this ProMag chalkboard magnet paper and also the ProMag magnets. The reason I picked up the magnet paper was because it looked like it was the easiest to cut through out of everything that they had displayed. I also used a glue gun which I highly recommend because it dries the fastest. A marker and scissors will be necessary but that will come up later in the tutorial. But for right now, just organize the makeup that you want to use and display it out onto the frame. And once you have it sorted out, you're going to open up the frame and take out all of its inner contents. But you shouldn't throw it all away because we're going to need that later on. It will allow for a stronger support once we start putting our makeup back with the magnets onto the board, or rather the picture frame. Now it's time to place our magnetic sheet down and then we're going to get the inner display that was in the picture frame, put it down so we could use it as a stencil. Now don't worry about making clean lines when you're using the marker around to trace out the size. All you really want to make sure is that the inside of the lines are the straightest, not the outside. Okay, great. So now we have the size that we want to fit inside the picture frame and all we have to do is cut out the trace. We've now got the size of magnet sheet that we need. So let's get our picture frame, open that up, put that inside, and then we're going to stabilize it with the glass from the picture frame. Later on, I realized that the glass was not enough support, so what I did was I took the rest of the cardboard and put it in and I got the best ability that I could. The only thing left to do now is just secure all the tabs so that the magnet sheet stays in place and we can get on with the cosmetics. I highly recommend laying all your magnets down, making sure that the attraction side is what's facing down and not the side that repels. We want to glue the side that repels. This way we can make sure it sticks to the cosmetic when we're done. Making sure that your hot glue gun has been plugged in and heated up for some time, you're going to take each piece and just apply a very small amount no more than about a pea size and when you place it down on the cosmetics just place it nice and firm giving it a nice press. With longer palettes I like to place two magnets one on either side so that when it's on the frame it just has more stabilization and less likely to fall. Okay so you're all set now you have all the magnets placed on your cosmetics let's bring in our picture frame and put the cosmetics onto the picture frame in the desired shape that you like. I have a little bit of OCD so I start with the largest first <laughs> put them on the bottom of the frame and then work my way up from there. If you like DIY projects like this remember to subscribe I also do fashion beauty and lifestyle videos. Voila! You now have your makeup displayed as a work of art. You can use this project for little knick-knack items that you don't have enough space for in your drawer or items that you frequently reach for. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to follow me on my social media, that's Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at The Luxury Hybrid. And you can always join the party by clicking subscribe. 
Remember to smile always and I will see you in the next video.